Now, I don't want to say this is guaranteed. I don't want to say that Lucas Raymond of the Detroit Red Wings is going to be an Art Ross caliber heart player at some point in his NHL career. I mean, of course, it could happen. If it does, I won't say no to that. But I'm not guaranteeing anything with this video. This is just a conversation about an idea that I saw on the Red Wings subreddit, and I thought it was interesting enough to bring up because it does revolve around that very same Lucas Raymond. So, what we're doing is we're heading over to his point production and we're comparing it to one of the best players in the entire National Hockey League. Before we dive into that though, Raymond is 22 years old, so I don't think anything that we talk about in this video should be taken as gospel. There is still a lot of room in the future for things to go according to plan, for things to plateau, for things to even decline. But Lucas Raymond has been one of the best young Red Wings we have seen the past few years. And with this season's worth of production, the 5'10", 183-pound right-handed right winger has scored 69 points in 80 games played. Very nice amount of points, if I do say so myself. 29 goals, 40 assists, he's already beaten out his career highs in each of these categories. He is on pace for about 71 points if he's able to get two points in the next two games against the Canadians. But last season, he had his sophomore slump in his rookie season. He came onto the scene and was pretty good. So seeing the upward progression of Lucas Raymond certainly is a positive for Red Wings fans. And of course, it's not even just the numbers. It's the on-ice play, too. Lucas Raymond has really come into his own as one of the more effective offensive play drivers on this Red Wings team. And you're seeing it during some of these extraordinarily important games. Lucas Raymond is making beautiful passes. He is finding space. He is opening the play up and he's scoring some some clutch goals, he has been an absolute game changer. You talk about the progression and the impact of a Dylan Larkin? Well, Raymond is kind of right there. Maybe not fully to the same point production capacity, but he's a really good step below. However, this video is going over another name, a name who is a part of the former Stevie Y run Tampa Bay Lightning, and who is one of the best players in the entire NHL right now, Nikita Kucherov. Because when it comes to Raymond and Kucherov, I've been seeing a few Red Wings fans over the past few months bring up these two guys' names in similar conversations and ask questions as to whether or not Lucas Raymond could have a ceiling that is in a similar range like Kucha's. Now, if you go over to this Reddit post made on the R Red Wings sub, here's another look at Raymond and Kucherov. What this user, Valas2, goes out there and does is compare the two in a side-by-side -side statistical breakdown. Now, the graphic goes out there and does it for us, but what I also wanted to do was use the Elite Prospects ranking and comparison tool because it's a lot easier to read when you have it side-by-side -side on the website here. The information is the same, it's just laid out differently so we could go out there and actually dive into it. But when you compare and contrast Lucas Raymond and Nikita Kucherov, you'll notice that they have pretty similar builds. Raymond is 5'10", 183. Kucherov is 5'11", 183. They shoot differently. Raymond is right-handed. Kucherov is left. But when it comes to NHL productivity from year to year to year, this is where things get really interesting. Because at age 19, Lucas Raymond made his NHL debut. He scored 57 points in 82 games played. Nikita Kucherov, on the other hand, was in the QMJHL. He also played at the World Juniors, and he was pretty good. But again, this was at 19. He wasn't in the NHL yet. When both of these guys were 20, Lucas Raymond had his sophomore slump. He had 45 points in 74 games played and 8 points in 8 games for the World Championship team. Nikita Kucherov split his time between the Tampa Bay Lightning and the Syracuse Crunch. Kucherov had 18 points in 52 Tampa Bay games in what was Kucherov's rookie season. At age 21, though, this was when things started to take off for Kucherov. In 2014-15, Kucherov scored 65 points in 82 games played, 29 goals, and 36 assists. At 21 years old right now, Lucas Raymond has 69 points in 80 games, 29 goals, and 40 assists. So Kucherov and Raymond, if you wanted to project the point production year by year, it's actually neck and neck. And unfortunately for the Raymond truthers out there, Raymond was a minus 16 this year, Kucherov was a plus 38, the Lightning also made it to the gosh darn Stanley Cup Finals that year, and Kucherov had 22 points in 26 games played in that run. Very impressive, but again, it was a young Lightning team, Kucherov was only 21, you had Ben Bishop and Nett, Steven Stamkos and Hedman and all them were still coming into their own as top of the line players. They were good, of course, but it wasn't until a few years later that they'd actually start dominating and winning 
winning Stanley Cups and making the finals three years in a row. So for Kucherov, he eventually became what a lot of people would say is one of the best players in the league. He's on pace for 144 points this season, after posting up 113 last year. It's kind of crazy because he's on pace for 100 assists this year, a feat that has only been matched by three NHL players in the past, Gretzky, Lemieux, and Orr, not to mention Connor McDavid, who is at 99 assists this season too. He sat out a few games, so if he played all of them, he probably, most definitely, would have had 100 by now as well. So Kucherov and McDavid are in a neck-and-neck -neck conversation for breaking a record that has only been broken by three other names in NHL history. Now, sure, you could say that Gretzky got 100 assists like 11 times or whatever it was, but he's one of only three people to do it, alongside Lemieux and Orr. So Kucherov and McDavid are right in there as well. They're probably going to get it. Of course, knock on wood, nothing crazy, terrible happens. But for Nikita Kucherov to be consistently compared by Red Wings fans to Lucas Raymond, it is kind of intriguing to me because, of course, I'm not going to guarantee anything. I'm not going to say that Lucas Raymond has 140 point potential or that Raymond is going to have 100 assists in a season at some point. But I'm just saying that when it comes to Nikita Kucherov, it did take him a few years to become Nikita Kucherov. And when it comes to a lot of these top players, especially nowadays, it's rare to see somebody go absolutely... McDavid, Crosby, Ovechkin, sicko mode in the league and post 100 points at 18, 19 years old. You see guys take their time nowadays. They don't really become amazing immediately. We're even seeing this with a lot of the guys taken in the Lucas Raymond draft year. Quentin Byfield and Alexi Lafreniere, they're fantastic players, but it took them a while to get here. Tim Stutzla is like the only guy that was really good right away, and even then you could say that he wasn't at that McDavid, Crosby something caliber. So Nikita Kucherov is a prime example of that. It took him a few years getting 60-ish points a year before he broke out and became an 80-point guy. He also had a season where he had zero games played and zero points too. You gotta remember that happened in 2020-2021, and then he came back in the postseason and was absolutely dominant as the Lightning won their second straight Stanley Cup. So... It's been a weird career for Nikita Kucherov, but seeing now that he's bested his career highs in goals, assists, and points with 141 total, it's a pretty big ceiling and a very tall task for anybody who's looking at Lucas Raymond and saying that, oh yeah, you're going to be the next Kucherov. Like, if Raymond can get an 80-point season at some point, I'm going to be happy. That's a great fourth overall pick, and knowing how good he has been, I mean, he's on pace for 70 points this year, there's no reason to say that Raymond cannot get multiple 80-point seasons by the time his career is said and done. Like, that would be very good. And even this Reddit post goes out there and talks about how, when it comes to the comparison, there is a reason to talk about it, because in terms of the numbers, Raymond's first three NHL seasons saw him put up 171 points in 236 games. Kucherov's first three seasons saw him put up 149 points in 211 games. I will say, though, that for Kucherov, the one thing that this Reddit post is kind of lacking is context, because Lucas Raymond, of course, was a fourth overall pick by the Wings, and that comes with expectations. That comes with a certain level of responsibility. Meanwhile, for Nikita Kucherov, he was a second-round pick back in 2011, so it took him a lot longer to develop. There probably were a few more doubters around the Tampa Bay scene when Kucherov was up and coming compared to what Raymond had to face with when he was in Detroit. There were more obstacles that Kucherov had to go through to become what Kucherov is today. Raymond admittedly has had a much stronger spotlight, which bodes well into giving him more opportunities sooner. So I'm not saying that Raymond is going to be Kucherov, but there is an argument to bring it up, so that's why I wanted to make this video here. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below if you're a Detroit Red Wings fan. What are your opinions on the progression of Lucas Raymond, and what do you think his ceiling could be? Does he have a Nikita Kucherov-type ceiling? I'd say in terms of the play style, Nikita Kucherov is like an absolute unicorn. He does not move on the ice. He does not look tired ever. He's just so slow and calm and lackadaisical looking, and then he zips a pass across out of nowhere through five guys, and it's onto the sick of Steven Samkos, and he shoots, and it's in the back of the net. Like, Kucherov is a magician. He makes things happen out of nothing. Raymond, I feel he tries a little bit too hard to be Nikita Kucherov. Like, his work ethic is through the roof. Nikita Kucherov's is, like, technically not. So, I don't know. Stylistically, I don't really see it. But point production-wise, I guess there's an argument to be had, which is why I ended up making this 10-minute gosh darn long video anyway. So, thoughts in the comment section below about the Lucas Raymond and Nikita Kucherov comparisons. I hope you enjoyed this video. And bye.